Not a chance! My turn. Let's go. Moving out. Let's go. Now. Diligence is its own. This one looks frightening. Yeah. Wait, uh, Be on your guard. I'm... Answer my. Very well. Hiya! All right. Arcus, activate. Here I go. My turn. All yours. Leave it to me. Let's bring up the. It's my turn. Now. An opening.
My lord! I've been expecting you, Jubilee. And Class 7. She's wearing her helmet. My lord, why do you cover your face? The one who stands before you now is not Leanne Sandlot. Instead, it is the seventh Anguish of Ouroboros, the faceless awakener of the Argent Knight. I welcome you as a fellow challenger in the rivalry. Just a nameless challenger, huh? So that's what you've decided. My lord. We learned about your past in the Lunar Shrine. You died 250 years ago in the War of the Lions, but rose as an immortal. You found out about the curse that plagued Emperor Dreykels and waited two centuries for his reincarnation. You've experienced so many things throughout your life. You know what true evil looks like. So why did you join Ouroboros 20 years ago? Why are you helping them destroy the world? Not even Vita understands your reasons. The truth is simpler than you may think. To put it frankly, it's all because of my pride, my regret, and something in my heart I could not throw away. <laughs> I don't understand. In his later years, Dreykels told me of the darkness which had been eating away at him. It started tormenting him after the War of the Lions, causing him decades of anguish. He feared it would never leave him, that it would haunt his soul for all eternity. I searched for his reincarnation to ensure his fears would not come to pass. And eventually, I found him. He was already a well-respected man with a high position in the military. He had a wife and child. I observed him for some time, and was relieved to see no trace of that sinister darkness. At about this time, I received an invitation from Ouroboros' leader. Though I had no intention of joining the society, I went to hear them out. It was there that I was told of an imminent catastrophe that would befall the world. It seemed no sooner had I breathed a sigh of relief, reassured that my fears were unfounded, than that vile darkness emerged anew. I attempted to intervene, but by the time I arrived, it was far too late. That's when I made my decision. I would join Ouroboros as an Anguist and aid them with the Phantasmal Blaze plan. I would take part in the rivalries and defeat the other five candidates, absorbing their power. All so that I might destroy the root of all evil, Ishmelga! <laughs> my lord! Whoa. I didn't realize someone could be so resolute. She truly is worthy of the legends. Fool, why did you not tell me? Uh, Roselia. Grandmother, I thought you were going to wait for us to come back. <laughs> How could I just sit and watch from afar? Leanne, why? Why did you not confide in me? You and Dreykels both. If he was suffering under a curse, he should have come to me. He said to me it was something we humans had brought upon ourselves. Were we to continue to foist our problems onto you, we would only be repeating the mistakes humanity made with the Septarians. That, and he claimed it would not be very becoming for an old, stubborn man like him to go begging for help.
As for me, this all came about because of my own stubbornness. How could I possibly take such a selfish burden and place its weight on the shoulders of my dear friend? <laughs> Both of you are such hopeless fools. No, I am the foolish one for not realizing what you struggled with. Roselia. Ugh. Rose. Now I understand. Your actions were motivated by loyalty to the one you love. No, you sacrificed yourself to protect the future of the entire Empire. I see now that you never truly sought to bring about the Great Twilight. You simply pretended to go along with it for the sake of your true goal. Win all the rivalries, and destroy the Ebon Knight. Oh, that's... <sighs> What makes you certain my motives were so noble, Duvali? Because I know, deep in my heart, in the eight years I've fought by your side, I've witnessed your sense of justice and your boundless compassion. You value kindness and living one's life with honor more than anything else. There's no way someone as virtuous as you would ever want to end the world. Regret? Pride? I'm sure those feelings were part of your decision. But your compassion far outweighs those. And knowing you like I do, compassion may not be a strong enough word. That said, my lord, if I may speak plainly, you have made a serious mistake. The Great Twilight involves all of us. You are wrong to think you needed to bear that burden alone. You have me. Ines and Enea, and not just us. Everyone here, Schwarzer, Class 7, all of Thor's is working toward that same goal. <sighs> Duvali. Duvali. That was... Yeah, she's got a point. <sighs> Her helmet. It's been eight years since I took you in. I knew a day like this might come eventually. But I never thought I would see those eyes of yours so filled with resolve. My lord! But do you have the strength to match that resolve? <laughs> oh! I appreciate your candor, but I shall speak plainly as well. You have no idea the true horror you face. The twisted darkness of the Ebon Knight and its thousand-year curse. The snake that devours the world has begun to stir, and the Great Twilight nears its zenith. There is no time. The situation is dire. My lord! The shrine is resonating with her! That can't be good. <laughs> Instructor, what should we do? Schwarzer! It's simple. We just have to show her we have the strength to match our resolve. And that we'll be the ones who reach the Ebon Knight. Oh! Instructor! Rain! No! Constructor Rain! We need to put everything on the line here. If we don't fight like our lives depend on it, we'll never make it to the end of the rivalries. The Maiden's shown us her determination. The willpower that's kept her going for centuries. So we need to show her that we can match that resolve. My lord, not only did you show me boundless compassion, you also taught me that power without justice is meaningless. Words will do us no more good. So I will use my sword to prove it to you. 
I'll show you that you were mistaken to walk that solitary path, and that I am truly worthy walking beside you. <laughs> Not bad, Duvali. I got your back. We'll show you what we got! Very well. Then ready your blade, Duvali the Swift. Rose! I, Crimson Roselia, shall oversee this battle. May each of you put all your strength into it! Right! This will be your end. Fight with all you have! Let's bring up the... <clears throat> My duty calls. Very well. Yeah. 
I'm going. Arc is activate. <laughs> Here I go. Arc is activate. Here I go. Uh, take this. You're finished. <laughs> yourself ah! <laughs> Thanks 
for the help. Thunder of the roiling heavens. It's my turn. Yes. Huh? My turn. Arcus, activate. Yes. <laughs> Thunder of the roiling heavens. Uh, I'll save you. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Now. Yeah. I'm going. Arcus, activate. I'm going. Huh? My turn. Arthas, activate. Ha! Thunder of the roiling heavens. I'm up! Done well to make it this far. To me, my oh! I shall go. Ha! Yes! Let's go. Ignite. I'm up. Arcus, activate! It's my turn! Huh? <laughs> I'll save you! <laughs> Thanks for the help! Now! Yeah! <laughs> Thanks for the help! Yes. Huh?
I'll treat you immediately. Thanks. My turn. Charging! Uh -huh. Predictable! <laughs> Turn. 
Marcus, activate! Damn it! Time to paint this town red. Yes! Arcus, activate! There! I can manage Thanks. without your help! Here I go! Arcus, activate! I'm going. Arcus, activate. Here I go.
I can manage without your help. Three, must. Uh... Well, then, shall we? this. Got this. Arcus activate. I'm up. <sighs> ha. I can manage without your help. Uh, My turn. Showtime. <laughs> They're down. An opening. Here I go. It's mine! <laughs> uh. 
Looks like it's time for the main event. Let's begin, Argreon. Understood. My lord. We'll take it from here, Duvali. I swear we'll get through to her for you. Schwarzer, don't you dare disrespect my lord with some half-hearted display. <laughs> you got it. Good luck. Leanne has been piloting that night for 250 years. Do not take her lightly. Heed my call. Valimar! Come, Ordine! I've not had the chance to battle other Divine Knights since our meeting at the workshop. That sword of yours, I can sense that girl's presence within. Yes. Although we can't hear her or Valimar's voices now, we know they're always with us. For their sake, we can't afford to lose now! You ready, Steel Maiden? We're gonna go full force! I admire that spirit. I will not hold back either. Bring to bear all the strength you use to best the Jaeger King! Right. Yeah. There. 
You're wide open! Yes! Spirit! Huh. An opening! Huh. Let's go! Spirit! All right! I'm going. Yeah. 
Ready yourself! My turn. It's my turn! Recharge! Ready yourself! It's my turn! Spirit! Moving out! I got you! Take this! An opening! My turn! Spirit! I'm up! Recharge! Take this! You're finished! An opening! My turn! Spirit! Yes! I'll restore you! It's my turn! Spirit! Moving out! Spirit! Ready yourself! An opening! I shall go. I'll support you. I'm up! It's down! An opening! Alright! Spirit! Thunder of the roiling heaven! Restore you. Moving out. They're down. Show them the cost of the fight. It's my turn. Now, let's do this, bro. Sure thing. So that's the power of 250 years of training. No kidding. The Steel Maiden. No, Leanne Sandlot is one hell of a fight. Well done. Ashen and Azure Awakeners. It would seem this is the end. Uh, my lord! No. The Ashen Knight will absorb the Argent Knight's power. Adding this newfound strength to that which you won from the Palatinate Knight, you now have a significant advantage in the rivalries. But it will not guarantee your victory against the Ebon Knight. Hold on, you don't mean... Was this your plan all along? To give us your power so that we'd have a fighting chance against the Shmelga? No. I assure you, I fought with every ounce of strength I had. You simply proved to be the more powerful. All due to your trust in yourself and your allies. Between the strength Lady Le Guin and now Duvali have shown me, I feel as though I'm seeing the dawn of a new era. My lord! I have no regrets. My journey has been long, 
so very long. It's time for it to end. Enough of your nonsense, Leanne! No regrets! You complete and utter fool! I will never forgive you if you give up and fade away now! You have yet to apologize for not telling me of the burden you carried all those years! And what of Dracul's soul? Do you not care what becomes of him? <sighs> She's right! And what about the war? It might be impossible to stop it now. Even I know that! But you're the Lance Maiden! You helped end the War of the Lions! So please, stay here! If this war gets out of control, we'll need your help to stop it! <sighs> the Jaeger King may have been tricked into becoming an Awakener, but you're different. You made this choice yourself. I should have vanished a long time ago, too. But I'm seeing this through to the end. Uh, my lord, you chose to walk this path on your own. And now, you're trying to go off to Adios on your own too. Did I not prove to you that I am worthy of walking by your side? If you were to disappear now, then what did I fight for? It's not fair! It's just... not fair! Duvali. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. I would have been satisfied to die here, surrounded by those who carry on Dreykel's will. However, I now realize that somewhere along the way, I forgot how precious life is. You taught me that, Dreykel's. I'll live on, if at the very least, to see you once more. No, all legends must have an end. It's time to lay you to rest. It's wings! <laughs> Excellent work, children. With that, the third rivalry is complete. And the Auric Knight has grown in power. How could you? Do you even understand what you've done? It seemed as though no one was interested in these wings, and I didn't want them to go to waste, so I took them for myself. The whole point of the rivalries is to take from one another. Didn't anyone tell you not to let your guard down on a battlefield? Besides, the great war of this era is about to begin. Old legends from bygone days have no place here. No! You make me sick. How could you?! Your time is swiftly running out. Soon the omen will appear, 
and Operation Jormungan will begin tomorrow. All the preparations for the war have been finished. Supreme Commander Van Dyke will see to the rest. I will be waiting for you alongside His Excellency at the final stage. I look forward to finishing our little talk there. The final stage? What does that mean? To think my end would come like this. My lord! No! That wound! Just like what happened to me. Leanne, just wait! I'm a... It's alright, Rose. My time is already long over. Sometimes parents must lie to their children. Forgive me, Duvali, Ines, Anea. Though I never had children of my own, you were all daughters to me. <laughs> my lord. Lady Leanne. I am truly sorry for all the worry I caused you, Rose. I am so grateful to have known you, my dearest friend. Thank you for watching over us, kind-hearted witch. <laughs> you fool. I am the one who should be thanking you. Lady Arsaid, I can think of no one better than you to have inherited the name Sandlot. I am truly happy to have met you. Please, Give my farewells to Lord Arsaid and Lady Le Guin as well. I promise I will. Leanne, I'm so sorry. I remember seeing you when you were yet very small. Perhaps it was just my own foolish musings, but I found myself thinking that if I had a son, I would want him to be like you. <sighs> You are the only person who can defeat Ishmelka now. Please, take what little strength I have left. My long journey is finally at its end. May we meet again, if the goddess wills it. It's already morning. <laughs> My lord. Duvali. <gasps> Don't weep. She lived with courage to the end. Just like the boss. She left this world with no regrets. Yeah. She was able to pass her will on to us. You are correct. She was able to impart a small amount of herself to the Ashen Knight and his blade. Right at the end, they absorbed the final fragments of the Argent Knight's power. He looks the same as before, but something feels different about him. So this is the parting gift the Steel Maiden has granted us. 
was that? Valimar, you can talk again? Indeed. I'm glad to be able to speak freely once more. Thanks to Argreon and Arian Road, I was finally able to break free from the curse's hold on me. And I'm not the only one. Yeah, she really was something else. Milium? Is this... really? Milium, what in the world is going on? It's okay, Ali. <laughs> Heck if I know! It was probably thanks to the Steel Maiden's power. Guess it set me free or something. This is just some kind of astral projection though, so it's not my real body. Even so... You show up again acting like nothing happened? Man... That's one hell of a parting gift. Thank you, Steel Maiden. What a truly wonderful gift. <laughs> to the very end, you were an unabashed show-off. Farewell, my friend. Oh man, did we miss the main event? You! The fool! I was wondering when you'd show up. Oh, don't be like that. I'm not here to pick a fight. I... simply came to say my farewells to a longtime friend. And looks like I'm not the only one. Joshua! Blue Blanc, too. You were all watching, weren't you? Indeed. This was one of the reasons we agreed to help with the performance. I used my spells to keep an eye on you. I'm glad we were able to catch up. So she's really gone then. The two of us had tea together all the time, and her and Luve's sparring sessions were always a sight to behold. I'm going to miss her. Even when I had completely closed my heart off to the world, she still tried to reach out to me. Things won't be the same without her. Thank you for your kind words. She truly touched a great many lives. <laughs> Ouroboros lost quite a valuable pawn today. It's a shame it was necessary for the rivalries. Oh well, I'm sure the Grandmaster won't mind all that much. Wait, are you? You've got some balls just showing up here by yourself. Hold on, Ash. Now's not the time. You said you weren't here to fight, right, Campanella? Right. It might be hard to believe, but I'm grieving too. To be honest, though, even I find it a little strange I can feel this way. Life's just full of surprises. Campanella. Just when I think I've got you figured out. Well, since you're here, there's something I've been wanting to ask you. What is this omen the Governor General mentioned? And what did he mean by the final stage? Now that you mention it... I do remember him saying that. And I'm guessing it has something to do with why McBurn and the Ogre Girl aren't here. <gasps> yeah, something's off. That freak wouldn't miss the chance to see a battle like this. And McBurn and Arian Road were among Ouroboros' longest members. You'd think he'd be here too. He's conspicuous in his absence. I realize he just left the tower, but still, he should have been able to make it here. <laughs> I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. You'll find out the reason why soon enough. Huh? Hey! Everyone, look! What was
was that? Something flashed in the sky. <gasps> Instructor! Reen, what's the matter? Uh, I'm fine. But this presence, it's... Yeah, I feel it too. Something big just showed up. That light... There's only one place it could have come from. Yes, there's no doubt about it. Is everyone okay down there? The Courageous too. Olivier, is that you? Sorry, there's no time to explain. Please come aboard quickly. Estelle, Lloyd, and the others are with me too. Something strange is happening all over the Empire. It started in the skies over the Osgiliath Basin. Kinda sucks I didn't get the chance to say goodbye to the Steel Maiden. But I guess coming here was the right choice, huh? Yeah. The party's just getting started. What in the goddess's name? Irina, do you know anything about this? Even I have no idea what's going on now. However, I see. It's not a railway cannon or even an airship. So this is what they... what the fool mentioned. Their ultimate trump card. So 
That's it. Just like the thing that destroyed Northambria. What is that thing? It's so huge! Citizens of Heimdall, please remain calm. What you see before you is not here to cause you harm. In fact, it is here to open the door to our future! Allow me to introduce our ultimate weapon in the war against Calvert. Behold the key to Erebonia's absolute and lasting victory, the Imperial Fortress! Imperial Fortress? <laughs> so it's on our side? Great! There's no way we'll lose to Calvert now! No. With that thing, we could take on the entire continent! belongs to us! At last. The Imperial Fortress. Built by us gnomes 1,200 years ago. The Tuaha de Danan. That shall be the stage for the final rivalry. Ha <laughs> ha! Excellent. Imperial Fortress. With that on our side, the Republic doesn't stand a chance. So that's what you'll use to swallow everything up. Until nothing remains. Yes, it will herald the end of the world. Supreme Commander of the Imperial Army, General Van Dyke. It is time we wake the World Serpent. On behalf of His Majesty, I now issue the final order to begin Operation Jormungand. We declare war at 1200 hours tomorrow. The Republic's destruction will soon follow.
Marvelous, your rank has risen. A reward for your troubles. Take it, I insist. Impressive as always.
think it turned out very well. Thanks for your help, everyone. It's not half bad if I do say so myself. Good work. We should be thanking you guys. You're the ones who did the heavy lifting. I still find it pretty hard to believe you were able to make a barrier over all of Michelin. It's something that could only be accomplished through combining the witch's spells, our stigmas, and the Merkaba. Not to mention the raw power of two divine knights. And then we were able to convert the Pantagruel's orbital energy into mana to sustain the barrier. Ha <laughs> ha Such beautiful teamwork! If we can do something like this, the sky's the limit! We ain't exactly here for a team-building exercise, you know. In any event, the barrier should hold. At least for tonight. It'll be able to absorb a few hits from any railway cannon shots that come our way. Not that we'll need to worry much about them, given they'll be busy with the war for the time being. I'm sure as far as the Chancellor is concerned, we're simply some minor rabble beneath his notice. He probably sees us as nothing more than the opening act to the Great Twilight. <laughs> opening act nothing? Doesn't he know we're the main event? Oh, hey there, everyone. Good to see you guys. How are your rooms? Did you drop off all your things already? Yeah. Honestly, I was blown away by how ritzy this place is. I can't believe we have it all to ourselves. <laughs> right? Even locals like us don't get many chances to stay here. Hmm. The last time was when Mariabelle invited us after the trade conference. Ah, oh, man. That seems like it was a hundred years ago. Thinking back, it's kind of a bittersweet memory. We still had a lot of fun, though! Looking around, we've got quite the crowd here now. Yeah, and a lot of us are from Thor's, too. We might as well live it up, then. This is our last night before everything goes down, after all. You're right. Tomorrow's when everything will be decided. Our future rests on the success of Operation Shining Steel. Though honestly, it's still a pretty dicey plan. So, this is Operation Shining Steel, then? After reviewing the whole plan like this, it seems more reckless than it does bold. We may not have much margin for error, but I think this could actually work. So basically, we're gonna get a bunch of teams to raid all the salt pails at once, put them out of commission, and then have the Courageous Two charge into the fortress while its barrier is down. That about sum it up? Yes. There's little chance that things will go so smoothly. I'm sure we'll have a number of unforeseen circumstances to deal with. Our top priority, however, is making sure the Divine Knights and Class 7 get to the target. That's right. So even if something goes awry and the Courageous 2 is unable to land, we can continue with the plan. 
As long as Reen and the others can successfully board the fortress in time, we still have a chance. Our foes will try to end the rivalry of the Seven as the Great Twilight reaches its climax. If we manage to seize control of the rivalries before then, however, we may be able to prevent them from achieving their goals. At this point, they think they've already won. It's likely they'll welcome Instructor Reen since they need him to finish the rivalries. And that will be our chance. That's all fine and good. But what about the Salt Pails? One glance and you could tell they're bad news. Yes. They seem to be pulsing with energy from the lower planes. And this same energy is what's letting them act as singularities, making them nearly impregnable. Further given the devils that have been appearing all over lately. I get the feeling we may find even worse things protecting each of the Pales. Yes. It's something we'll need to be prepared for. Well, if we know what we gotta do, then all that's left is to go do it. That's right. It's our turn now. You can leave one of the Salt Pales to the Liberal team. We just gotta decide on which of us is going. Same for us in the SSS. As members of the Radiant Wings, let us help clear a path for you and the others. Estelle, Lloyd, everyone. Aw, you guys. Guess we should have seen this coming, huh? You can count on us, too. Duvali. Are you sure? Yes. Since my lord's passing, I've managed to clear my mind a bit. The time has come for the Stallridder to unite once more. To see our lord's will done. Our lord saw fit to grant you her power. It's our duty to carry her torch to light your way. All of you. Don't forget to save some seeds for us, huh? We'll be teaming up with those Stalber gals. That's okay. The boss would have wanted as much from us. Zeno, Leo. Sheesh. This is one hell of a lineup. In that case, you can add Sharon and me to the list of volunteers. As maid of the Reinshard family, I would be honored if you would allow me to fulfill this particular role.
You too, Sharon? Lady Angelica and I have also suffered at the hands of our foes. After careful discussion, we have decided it would only be appropriate to return the favor. From what I hear, Lieutenant Colonel Mueller will be returning to the Courageous Two tomorrow. I figured I'd leave the steering up to the expert, so I can get back to kicking some ass. Sharon, Angelica... Then you can count me in too! Can't let you do that, Toa. We need you here. You've got both the Courageous Two and the entire operation to look after. Angelica's right. I'd very much prefer you to remain at your post. I'll be on the bridge as well. But even then, I suspect we'll have our hands full manning the air defenses. I... understood. There's no need for concern, Toa. We're all in this together. Every one of us has their own part to play. Thank you, both of you. But still, we can't just send them out by themselves. Then I guess you'll just have to let me join them. <gasps> huh, so that's why you two were acting weird. I'm sure you must think I have no right to come back like this. I can't possibly make up for everything I've done. But I'm going to help anyway. Because... I'd rather not get the same failing marks Franz did. Hmm. George? So, that makes three. Not as many as I'd like, but... Then allow me to lend you a hand. Grandmother! I fulfilled my duty as a witch, and Leanne has passed. Now that I have played my part, I may as well bloom one final time for you young folk. Were we to add my strength to that of the Ravner girl, a former gnome, and the Reinford maid, would that be sufficient? <laughs> That'd be more than enough. But if it's possible, I'd prefer to have the curvier version of you come with us. Angie, I don't think now's really the time. <laughs> it would be our pleasure to have you accompany us, Lady Roselia. For crying out loud. We now have four groups. Our forces have expanded considerably. But what about the last pale? You can leave that one to me. P Principal Le Guin! Aren't you supposed to be focusing on all that meal mirage stuff? Certainly. But the plan has always been to leave the first day of the operation to Wallace and Candy. I'll be taking over tomorrow, once the war begins. Lieutenant General Bright anticipates that both sides will spend the first day scouting, with perhaps a few light skirmishes at best. Presumably, General Van Dyke will mobilize the Imperial Army with a similar mindset. All bets are off once that second day is, however. Odds are, all eight battlefronts will erupt into all-out carnage at about the same time. The Imperial Army will likely be forced to a halt in both Liberal and Remiferia. You can expect they'll deploy their strongest armored divisions, the third and fourth included at that time. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. And the reason you're helping us out is so things don't get to that point, right? Perhaps. Did 
should be a suitable warm-up for the decisive battle to come. Though, of course, I won't be going alone. Well. <laughs> it's as the General says. We, too, will be assisting you. For the first day, anyway. This will be my final duty as head of the Arsade School. I shall prove us worthy in succeeding the Sandlot name. I don't know if I measure up to these three, but this is as good a chance as any to make up for all the time I lost. Father! Toval! <laughs> I had a feeling Vita would show up to help. Can't pass up a chance to hug the spotlight, huh, Vita? <laughs> show them what you can do, Zero Artisan. Thank you. We couldn't be more lucky to have the four of you with us. That goes for the rest of you, too. Estelle, Lloyd, Duvali, Angelica, Sharon, each and every one of you. Indeed. And with that, I hereby declare Operation Shining Steel officially underway. We fly tomorrow at noon, as Mil Mirage and the World Serpent begin their clash. We'll be rendezvousing with the rest of our allies in mission later today. the last time we're all together, so we're planning to have a small celebration of sorts. We were hoping all of you could join us. Sorry we're late.
Pardon us. It's good to see you all again.
This is nice.
Thanks, everyone. Great job! See you later! No! Oh, wow! Let me take a look. I win. <laughs> 